Hello, hello, my name is Paris Law and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I want to show you how to navigate the Coinbase dashboard. So we're gonna be talking about what each part is on the main dashboard and the assets view in particular and how to read it and what it actually means. All right, so we won't go into the specifics of trading, paying, or you know all the for you and extra sections, um, but I'm really just focusing on this assets area. Um, because it sometimes can be a little bit confusing of what it all means, and so I'm breaking it down in this video. So if you like what you hear, just go ahead and hit subscribe. That way you'll be ready to get more new good stuff uh, as I break down this and create a series of content for you. So let's look at it. So I'm assuming that you already have a Coinbase account. If you don't have that yet, click the link below and then you can set up an account and be eligible to receive some free uh, cryptocurrency after your first deposit. Now. Uh, assuming that you have your account set up, go ahead and uh, log in and uh, make sure that you do have your two-factor authentication set up for security purposes. And then you will be in the assets dashboard like you see here. Now, the assets da dashboard is set up for default uh, right now in 2022 uh, where you log in and then you just kind of see an overview of your account. Okay. Now, in the first top chart here it is your balance. So this is the amount of uh, cryptocurrency and the and the dollar value or the currency value or the fiat count uh, value that you have in your account. OK, uh, so you can see how the account will fluctuate over time because the prices of coins change over time. They go up, they go down. Uh, the only ones that do not usually are the stable coins. And so with this, you can see where your actual account balance is at the moment. OK, this line that's moving down is and up and down is telling us what the actual amount is on a specific day and time. OK, and underneath that, we can see the time scale of this balance. And right now you can see that it started around May 6th and then it goes all the way to today at June 4th. And so that means it's about a one month view. If I want to change that view, then I would move to the top here and select one of these top options where I can choose between one hour, one day, one week, one month, one year and over the whole time of my account. OK, so it gives me the, that variation so I can see where my total balance is. Now, this is a collective total of all the cryptocurrency assets or coins that you have inside Coinbase. Underneath that, you're going to see that uh, listing of your assets with a breakdown of how much you have of each one and the current price, the current trading price of each one. So let's look at the tabs specifically. First, you have the name tab. The name tab is actually there to tell you the name of the asset or a coin that you have in your account. OK, so if you've been doing like the learn and earn or, you know, you, somebody has sent you some coins in Coinbase, then these would be listed here. All right. Now, it's also good to know where the U.S. dollar amount is or your fiat currency that you're using, um, because this is kind of your account where you know where your deposits from your bank account have arrived. So you can look for that and see how much you have in there. Um, I usually recommend that if you after you've deposited some U.S. dollars, then convert that over to USDC, a USD coin, because, you know, holding USDC, it's not going to fluctuate in price and you can be earning a 0.15 percent APY on Coinbase for just having it in there. All right. So underneath uh, next to the name section, you're going to see the balance. OK, balance is how much you have. OK, this is the value or the amount that you have in this account. OK, uh, so, for example, you can see that I have ten dollars in my U.S. dollar area here. And then for Ethereum, I have three dollars and forty three cents worth at the moment, um, which is the equivalent of zero zero one nine and some extra numbers of Ethereum. So it's partial of Ethereum. Now, this price, the US dollar amount will go up and down depending on the price, which is next to uh, the Ethereum. The, no, the amount of coins probably won't go up and down unless I'm buying trend or buying, selling or sending out stuff. So this number here, which is the 00193005, won't change. But the value will change based on 
the column next to it, the price. So we can see for Ethereum here, the current trading price is 1,772 uh, and 31 cents. And so based on that price and the amount of coins that I have, that equals the dollar value currently of it. Okay, so if you see this dollar value uh, move up and down, it's not because you're losing money in your account. It's because the value based on the amount of coins you have and the trading price are changing. Underneath this trading price, you can see this red uh, text that says minus 1.29%. This means that in the last 24 hours, the price has dropped or gone down 1.29%. Okay, and to the right of the price, we can see the allocation column. Okay, the allocation is if you imagine like a big giant pie chart, what percent or what piece of the pie does this contain? Uh, or how much does it add up to in relation to the whole pie of my account? Okay, so for my whole Coinbase account area, um, Ethereum is only 0.38% of that, where most of my Ethereum is locked into the Ethereum 2. Uh, account here where I'm staking it until Ethereum 2.0 is released and then I get about um, some interest on that. Okay, so that is kind of how you can read what your assets actually mean. So the naming section, name of the coin, the balance, how much you have, and the price is the current trading value. Uh, the amount on the balance here underneath, look for that, is the actual amount of coin that you have. And then the price above it is you know, that um, times the trading price and you get that value. And then the allocation is the percent of your total portfolio inside Coinbase. So we've looked at the balance chart and see, and we can see what the actual line graph means uh, over time and how to change our time scale. Um, we've looked at the assets that we have and how to read each of the columns. The next thing we're going to do is go down to the watch list. This is where if you're buying and selling cryptocurrency, there might be some coins on your radar where you want to pay attention to the price changes and the market capitalization. Um, this watch list will help you see that. So any coin that you tend to put a star on will show up here. So I'm watching Bitcoin, XRP, Litecoin. And so it will give me the current trading price, the change, the market capitalization, and then it will show me a nice big blue button. So if I want to buy some coins at that specific time, I can click on that button and then it will take me to an area where I can buy, sell or convert my coin. So it's a quick uh, way just to see what the current price is and then have some action. Now, underneath that, of course, you're going to see this uh, referral area where you can um, send a referral email to people and then receive uh, free Bitcoin if they uh, put in their uh, $100 as a deposit first. And then your friend will also receive $10 in Bitcoin after depositing $100. So it's a win-win situation. It doesn't cost them any more to do it. Um, so that's why if you haven't had your Coinbase account yet, go ahead and click that link below and use my referral address so that we both can win from this. Okay, so we've looked at the balance, we've looked at the assets, we looked at the watch list. And next, we're going to go over to the right sidebar because th these are just some uh, things that Coinbase adds in to draw our attention, but also sometimes they show us a, a few uh, highlights of some important information. So the Coinbase NFTs are here. This means that they've updated so that you can uh, show NFTs uh, within the Coinbase account or receive them and store them. Uh, the interest earned is if you are kind of with any staking coins, you'll be able to see a snapshot of how much interest you've collected. The learn and earn is a great way to learn uh, how to earn some free crypto just by looking at a lesson and answering a quiz. I have another video for that if you're interested. Uh, they also have the tax activity here. So this is a way where you can uh, take a look at your tax uh, liability or get the information you need for when you're filing taxes uh, each year. So that's kind of a convenient way to just kind of get a nice printout and then or upload that information into your tax or send it to your accountant. OK, recurring buys is a great way if you want to do some regular investing, like you want to uh, uh, get some coins uh, daily, weekly or monthly. You can set a schedule for when it wants to buy. So, for example, if I want to buy Bitcoin every week and I want to spend $50 on it, I can set it up so that it has a weekly buy of $50 um, and that can connect to my bank account. 
All right, so that's an overview of the asset section. Um, I hope that helps. And if you have any questions, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. All right, this is Paris Law signing off, wishing you a blessed day. I'll see you next time.